In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess... Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, you chose the Blessed Virgin formed by the Holy Spirit as the first fruits of the new creation. Grant that we reject the old ways of sin, embrace wholeheartedly the new life of the living gospel, and honor faithfully the new commandment of love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. My beloved ones, avoid idolatry. I am speaking to sensible, as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I am saying. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. Look at Israel according to the flesh. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar? So what am I saying? That meat sacrifice to idols is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No, I mean that what they sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to become participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and also the cup of the demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of the demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealous anger? Are we stronger than him? The word of the Lord. The responsorial song, to you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of To you I will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person uh, uh, out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, 
the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. The Gospel of the Lord. We're in the three-year uh, National Eucharistic Revival. I love revivals. I'm glad we have three years of the National Eucharistic Revival. Boy, we need to hear this. Everybody, all the world needs to hear this, uh, these readings today. St. Paul, he doesn't mix any words. He, doesn't, he says, listen to him. If we have time to reread uh, the, uh, uh, for that first reading. Uh, from St. Paul. Let's see. It was 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Please go back and reread that. It isn't, it's not a very long reading, but what a beautiful teaching on Eucharist. St. Paul teaches on the reality of the Holy Eucharist and the true sacrifice. This is what, it's, this is what we're doing this morning, uh, offering up a sacrifice. Jesus offers the sacrifice uh, this morning on, on this altar. It's a true sacrifice of Jesus to God. So St. Paul teaches the cup, sharing in the blood of Christ, breaking the bread, we eat and share in the holy body of Christ. How can he say that? Because those are the words Jesus spoke on Holy Thursday. Jesus is the Son of God, right? Yes. <laughs> And if Jesus says, this bread is my body, it's his body. If he takes the cup in his hand and he says, this is my blood, it's his blood. He doesn't mix any words. This is Eucharist, National Eucharistic Revival. We need to hear this. Uh, the cup, so we have uh, two, two cups going on here. It's happening right now in the world today. There's the cup of the Lord. Or the cup of the world. Oh, they both taste so good. A lot of people drink, and Catholics too, priests too, we know, drink from the cup of the world. Oh, it's so delicious. But it's only here and now. The cup of the Lord is for eternity. Drink from the cup of the Lord. The Gospel from St. Luke, chapter 6. Jesus teaches that to be healthy, that's what we want. God wants this for us. To be a healthy tree, we have to be rooted. Rooted in God. Bearing good fruit in the world. And then he also teaches, Jesus teaches, to have a solid foundation of faith in God. That's a good solid foundation. Because the world is going to uh, test us. It's going to try to break us. It's going to try to break that foundation, but we have this solid foundation, and it gives us strength. Eucharist does this. Eucharist gives us these deep roots of faith that we, like a good tree, good healthy tree, bears good fruit. Eucharist gives us this this incredible foundation, deep. We have to dig deep because the world's going to hit us hard and it is it's always doing that this isn't anything new the world has always been doing this trying to break break faith but thank god we have this national eucharistic revival three years so we can start uh, really this is a, the, only the first year of the three re, uh, year revival so these are the things we need to hear uh, go back and reread these things oh father i know them i know we know them Go deep. Always go deeper. 
Never be satisfied. Always go deeper, uh, uh, deeper roots, deeper foundation. You know who can help us? It's Saturday morning. Our Blessed Mother. She'll always take us to Eucharist, Jesus, and then by the hand, Jesus takes us to God. So let's turn to our Blessed Mother in prayer as we pray our litany. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, responses will be, have mercy on us. God, our Father in heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Now, responses will be, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Most honored of virgins. Mother of God. Mother of Christ. Mother of the Church. Mother of Divine Grace. Mother Most Pure. Mother Most Chaste. Mother and Virgin. Sinless Mother. Dearest of Mothers. Model of Motherhood. Mother of Good Counsel. Mother of our Creator. Mother of our Savior. Virgin Most Wise. Virgin rightly praised. Pray for us. Virgin rightly renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin gentle in mercy. Pray for us. Faithful virgin. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Throne of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Shrine of the spirit. Pray for us. Glory of Israel. Pray for us. Vessel of selfless devotion. Mystical Rose, Pray for us. Tower of David, Pray for us. Tower of Ivory, Pray for us. House of Gold, Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, Pray for us. Gate of Heaven, Pray for us. Morning Star, Pray for us. Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, Pray for us. Comfort of the Troubled, Pray for us. Help of Christians, Pray for us. Queen of Angels, Queen of Patriarchs and Prophets, Pray for us. Queen of Apostles and Martyrs, Pray for us. Queen of Confessors and Virgins, Pray for us. Queen of All Saints, Pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Sin, Pray for us. Queen Assumed into Heaven, Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Pray for us. Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Joseph, the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. together we stand with one voice, and we bring our prayers and petitions to the Lord this morning. We pray for the church throughout the world. May God plant the seed of his living word in the hearts of believers and help them to bear good fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. We want to pray for all uh, farmers. They're preparing for the fall harvest. We want to pray, gosh, that the bins are full. Lots of grain. And also safety for those farmers and helpers. What is it? Farming is the most dangerous occupation in the world with all the machines, the PTOs, all those things. Uh, so we pray that there's a full harvest and they're, 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 they're kept safe as they're, they're doing the work. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are ill and struggling with their pain, may God's grace bring them relief and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God continue to guide us in responding to his call of discipleship and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have, dead, who have died, and we pray for the souls of those, uh, those souls who have been forgotten. Uh, that have no one to pray for them. We're going to pray for them this morning, that they have relief and that they're delivered from purgatory, those souls. 
Let us pray to the Lord. And then just in the quietness of our hearts and own personal prayers and petitions for our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for Stanley and Catherine Soika. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, you invite us to be united to yourself. Please hear our prayers this morning and grant all that leads us to you. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Bread of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and her complete self-giving to the sacri sacrifice of the new law, we offer you these gifts as a sign of our worship and ask that the power of your grace we may walk all our days in the new life you have given us through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit. lift up your hearts lift up to the lord. let us give thanks to the lord our god it is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for you gave to Christ, author of the new covenant, the Blessed Virgin Mary, as his mother and companion, and you made her the first fruits of your new people. Conceived without stain, enriched by gifts of grace, Mary is indeed the new woman, the first disciple of the new law. Mary is a woman who finds joy in your service, who is attentive to the voice of the Spirit, and who is always ready to obey your living word. Mary is a woman blessed for her faith, a woman blessed in her child, and a woman raised up from among the lowly. Mary is a woman standing firm in adversity, keeping faith by the cross of her son, Jesus, and entering into glory at the end of her days. So with the whole company of angels, we praise you, with one voice, holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, <coughs> Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life for the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
Let us pray. Lord our God, in the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, you formed a new heart for the second Eve. Grant that by the grace of this sacrament, we may be obedient to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and grow more and more each day in the likeness of Christ, the second Adam, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. We have three beautiful blessings. After each one, we'll respond, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his consonants toward you and give you his eternal peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.